tips. So this is what happens when your wife doesn't work. All right. She likes to spend money. Okay. Oh, and just, yeah. I should have known it was a money thing. No, really, it's not a money thing. It's just it's just a hassle thing. Okay. So she likes to just look for things in the house to fix and okay. to redo and to update. You gotta right. do something. <clears throat> I know. Bored out of her mind. Exactly. Probably. That's my point. Right. So she. I, I'll tell you what. I don't know if your wife is the same, but my wife wants to paint a room every twenty minutes. My wife would never want to paint one room. But your she wife will actually to... paint it, or she hires no, no, painters. No, oh, you're not gonna do it. Well, she does like finishing of uh, furniture and stuff. It's a simple. Okay, kind of but those are thing. those are small projects. Painting a living room and an upstairs room. I mean, that's a big project. Yeah, I think what she it does off. is a you big project. Tape it off. <laughs> just, yeah, I mean, drop cloths everywhere. We had a nightmare. We had four painters in our house all day yesterday. Right. All day from eight thirty until seven. You know, she's always going to do something with the house. Right. She just looks for projects to do. She goes, I really want a new couch, but I really want to paint the room. I said, let's get the new couch because painting rooms is the pain in the ass. Right. People come in, they they trash your house. And so she decided to, to use some of her money. All right. So it wasn't even my money. It was the money that she made off of her little projects. Right. To have the living room and an upstairs bedroom repainted. Okay. Like a teenager. And, she got a little piggy bank. And some crown molding put in my daughter's, <laughs> one of my youngest daughter's bedroom. Okay. So... <laughs> And before I, I left yesterday, I said, look, don't move the television. Okay. Or don't lift the TV. I don't want to take the TV off of, we got the TV about six months ago. Right. It's on these brackets. It was a pain in the ass to put up. Just paint right. around it. Just paint around it. Paint. You could paint behind it a little bit, but don't take the TV off the wall and don't unhook the direct TV. Because <laughs> so I've got surround sound. I've got the direct TV. i got the uh, DVR. Yeah. I've got all kinds of stuff hooked up to it. All right, that my buddy helped me do. I have no idea how of to rehook it. As soon as they unhook it, Dude, you're you know how many wires are back there? You can't even put a screensaver on your phone, Dude, let alone it, hang up your <laughs> brand new TV. It looks like, you couldn't either, believe me. Oh, I know I can't. It looks like NORAD back there. <laughs> right. I said, just don't take the TV whatever off. Whatever you do. And don't unhook anything. They can paint behind it, right. whatever. Yeah, but they know Comprende. No Comprende. So what happens when I get home? TV's off the wall. <laughs> Everything's unhooked. Wires are every, all over the floor. It's not possible. Direct TV's unhooked. Right. <laughs> and the way my direct TV, I don't know how it is with yours, but the main box, all the little boxes on all the other TVs mm -hmm. feed off of the signal of the big box. Okay, off mm -hmm. the mothership. All right, so the mothership is unhooked. That means the little boxes. So none of your TVs are working. Well, they worked for a while. I was watching the, um, mm -hmm. the Eclipse A. But <laughs> for some reason, at about 3 o'clock, it just cut off. Everything cut off. <laughs> right. All right. No TV in the house at three o'clock. Right. I, I get in a fight with my wife over that too. <laughs> Anytime so, the TV went out. And I told my wife, I said, T, let me tell you what's going to happen. They're going to put the TV back on the wall. Right. And they're not going to have a, a clue how to hook up everything. Of course they're not. No comprende. <laughs> right. So what happened? They put the TV back up on the wall. It took them forever. Mm -hmm. I was just upstairs. I don't even want a, any part of this. Right. Because they're probably going to drop it and just destroy it. <laughs> and Well, they would pay for it if they did. Okay, but true. But that's a pain in the ass. It means i got to right. go out and get another TV. It's your money. You paid for it. So what do you think happened, <laughs> Valdez? Couldn't hook up the direct TV. Couldn't hook up the DVR. Couldn't hook up the surround sound. Nothing works your in TV the house. Your TV service got eclipsed. <laughs> yeah, that's like friggin' Armageddon over there. And my wife, call my, your buddy again. My wife told me, she goes, this is what they do, honey. They they take TVs off the wall. They know how to do it. No. <laughs> they're right. no they're, 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 so yeah. what they're, they're doing is not I know, electricians. That's what I told her. Or... I said, they're not cable your, TV your, techs. Your response should have been, what they're doing is ruining lives. They ruined <laughs> right my now. life last night. I was furious. So were you all day with no, no TV? Well, from 3 o'clock on, I was furious. You still have no TV. <laughs> I called DirecTV. I said, look, painters with that. No Comprende was at the house. <laughs> What do I do? She's well. Here's the deal: if they unhook the main box, the little boxes aren't going to work. Right. You got to hook up the main box. I said, oh. Right. I went upstairs at seven o'clock and I went to bed. Mm. You did at seven p.m. I took a melatonin at seven o'clock, popped one. I went to bed at seven o'clock. Mm. That's silly. Though. You probably feel You're silly so now. You're so fresh right now. You feel no, so good. I'm going to be dealing with it today because there's no chance it's going to be fixed today. Is your guy coming over? Did you talk to him? My buddy. I, yeah, I'm sure you no, texted him and said. I didn't. I didn't. I feel bad because I, I text him every time I, I need help, technical right. help. Right. He's at the house every three days. Does he live near you? <laughs> yeah, he lives in Ashburn. Right. But, that, but that, that's not the point. The principle of it <laughs> was I told my wife not to do it. Right. And, but and she didn't do it. Here's the other thing that pissed me off. She paid him f in full 
I said, why did you pay him in full when they left me like that? I'm half the money. Right. He called the boss, Apprendes, right. <laughs> and said, I'm not giving you the other half until my TV and my right. cable are fixed. So everything's up and running. And that wouldn't have occurred to me, but I like that angle. Yeah, it's, it's the job's not done. Yeah, get somebody not over complete. here. Get somebody over here that knows how to make it work again. Yeah, yeah, you come over, or you hire a direct TV guy. You come over and you hook it all back up the way it was. Right. But again, happen. they should have. They should have just painted around. There should have been the paint around. They didn't understand. I, I get it. I understand the no comprende. That's bit. the other I like thing that, that pissed me off is the the owner of the company. I mean, he's Hispanic, right? But he can speak English. He mm-hmm. sends four no comprendes <laughs> over. You got to have it. The guy who can speak English, Drab. One. So you can tell him, don't take the TV off the freaking wall. 